Hello, this is Cancel, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. The one where we let's play, I guess. You know, that didn't sound right at all. Maybe I should just... No, no. We're keeping it. In all of my awkward glory. You know, I feel like this is probably tall enough you don't need to crawl. Like, look, look, this thing is nearly twice as tall as I am. Why would you crawl through it? Slide time. Hmm. Th this does look quite familiar, although I suppose it makes sense that the reactors would have similar uh, construction. But it always felt to me like this one was a little bit more well maintained than reactor number one. Maybe that's just me, though. I don't know. Tell me what you think when we get fr deeper in. Uh. Actually, if I can just get to the freaking door. Deadly- okay, that is a battle item, which I'm never going to use. I'm never going to use any battle item in this game. Yeah, like, the stairs are less run down, there's still a weird jump here. Like, who would design this? Who would ever design this? But anyway. Then there's the ladder here, and it's pretty much identical at this point. I don't know, maybe it was just me, but I always felt like that was sort of the case. <laughs> there's even the freaking save point there. Man, you the save point up there should have been, should have been like more up. If you were going to put a save point right there, come on dudes. Uh, anyway, this seems like a good time to talk about some of the setup issues I've had with this. Which I have, I think, more or less resolved at this point. Basically, a lot of it boils down to getting the damn controller to work. I've went into this a little bit, but... already, but the game is extremely particular about what controller it'll accept input from, how it'll allow you, it will allow you to configure that controller, and what input it will accept from that controller. Of the like three different possibilities for uh, directional input, it only accepts one of them. It only accepts the first ten buttons on the controller. The controller needs to be set up a certain way in Windows because it won't detect it unless it's uh, set as the preferred contro controller device. And the keyboard layout frankly sucks. For that matter, also, the default, even if you do use the Xbox controller layout, the default layout also sucks. So you you need to customize the uh, actual, um, what, which buttons do what to actually have a sensical layout. Uh, okay, what's going on? Ooh, this... This does not look good. Look at the size of that sword. It's almost as big as Cloud's one. I mean, it's at least as long, but it's not quite as wide. Also, apparently that's Tifa. I guess she had a cowboy face. Um. Okay. That was weird. Righto then. I can only assume this is a remote bomb because we don't have a timer this time. Ah. Uh, anywho. On to more difficult settings up. That's not the only issue with this thing. Because I don't want, want to paint the picture like this is just strictly better than all other versions. It's not. Although I think its advantages outweigh its disadvantages, there are definitely... The setup, getting it running in the first place is definitely was an effort. Um... Let's see, what are some other things? Uh, right! 
It also has some really annoying DRM. I... In order to get the game to run at all, you need to log into Square's server. And in order to do that, the game needs to be set into... Um... You need to run as an administrator. Which, with a Steam game, can be tricky to do. Because you need to find the actual EXE that gets booted up. Which is kind of buried a little bit. And it's not really very pleasant, and it's very... I mean, frankly, it's just terrible for to, you to have a game where that is necessary. There's also the annoying black bar on the bottom. Okay, well, you can't see all of this, but there's... The screen I'm playing on, there's three black bars on most screens. There's ones on either side, on the left and right, which I'm covering up with an interface in this video. However, there's also the bottom part, which is... It's used for menus, like in this screen. But as soon as we leave the menu, there's a big black bar there! And it drives me freaking crazy! But I can't just cover that up, because it's actually used for parts of the game. Like, the ones on the sides are, are one thing. I would rather not stretch the display, so I'd rather... So I'd rather box it than have it stretch. But the fact that the game doesn't give me a good size option to do that, and it's... It gives me widescreen sizes, then just boxes it, it's not really a very good interface. Because I end up having parts of the screen, my screen, that are used up that I could be using for other things. Which is kind of frustrating. And took a fair amount of time to figure out what was actually happening. <laughs> I'll tell you. Still, if you can get past all of the the trouble of the freaking getting it to run in the first place, I do and run in a way that's actually worth playing. Because like I wouldn't want to play this on my keyboard. It is so much better with a controller, but again, setting up that controller is a real pain in the ass. Still, if you're willing to go through the, that trouble, I think this is the better version. Plus also, oh no, I didn't want to do that. Um, plus also, it does have the additional advantage of mod support. Well, I mean mod support in that there are a lot of really cool mods, less so that Square supports them very well. Um, like, I was actually considering using a graphics mod for this. I decided against it because I felt that the most of the ones I saw, basically they clashed really hard with the backgrounds. Because they modded all of the models, but not the environment. So you end up with this high de detailed, poorly shaded models for all the characters on these gorgeous, but lower resolution backgrounds. And it just really didn't look good at all to me. That was just my opinion, though. And there's a lot of pretty damn good mods, actually. That you should totally check out, if you're gonna try it. Hmm. Okay, now this part is different. But I mean, like, just look at this. Like, don't look at the enemy so much. But look at the characters. It cannot just be my imagination that those are way more detailed than they were on the PlayStation. I mean, the battle sprites are more detailed in general, so it could be a certain... So admittedly, there could be a certain amount of, uh... Of, uh, nostalgia slash poor memory going on here. But I legitimately think that these sprites are of higher resolution. Shoot him, please. Sword it, please. Still, though, whether or not that's actually worth all the trouble is, I think, highly dependent on you. I mean, I know I really wanted to play this version of the game, but realistically, it would have probably been easier for me. Not necessarily provided a better final product, but it would have been easier for me to just emulate this. I would have had, I would have had to do way less, jump through way less hoops to get it running. 
and I would have had save states, which would have made it way easier to transition between episodes. Uh, right, I need to heal Barret. Hmm. Okay. Nope. Nah, nope. That was way too early. One, two, nope. Too late. One, two. Oh, that was almost on. No, it didn't like it. Now. Nope. Now. Okay, yeah. First of all, that's a really, that's actually kind of a really stupid puzzle. It's, it's the only place in the game where they make you do that, I think. But they don't give you any timing cues for when to press it, which is what makes it kind of stupid. And, wow, this did not take as long as I thought it would. I kind of wanted to do a cut coming up here, but now it's looking like I might not. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. This way! No! The other way! I think we've been had. It- Oh no, those were his footsteps. I thought he was like, flapping or something. Yeah, what he said. Huh. Okay. He is... Okay, you're kind of a bad boss. I mean, the soldiers are literally... I mean, the na it, you can sort of guess from the name, but they're literally your elite fighting force. Come on, dude. Hmm. Oh? <laughs> You're beginning to bore me. I'm a very busy man, you see. So if you'll excuse me, I have a dinner to which I must attend. Ah, but I've made arrangements for a playmate for you all. Fear not. You shan't go bored for long. That is a big robot. Meet Air Busta, a techno soldier. Just call it a robot. Call it what it is. Our weapons department created him. I'm sure the data he'll extract from your dead bodies will be of great use to us in future experiments. Again, it's a robot. Hey, and a helicopter! Which is... slightly bigger than the robot. You know, slightly. Yeah, so we should probably deal with this. It's just a machine. But also a boss. And also a robot. You know, actually, you can just attack it, because he's facing the wrong way. You, can you... Oh no, only Cloud is bolt anyway. Um. Basically, it's simple. Aim for the back. Because we are in a pincer attack, which is highly convenient. Because we can hit him in the ass. And that deals more damage. Uh... I think I'll still use my limit break even though he's facing me, though. Because, come on. Oh yeah, he does have guns in his ass. But, I'm pretty sure he counterattacks the, on the front. Uh... Yeah... 
Heal yourself. I mean, sure, you do that, but man, it deals so much more damage. It's worth it. Please, not on Tifa. Thank you. Also, I use my limit break now. Bam! Just wait. Actually, heal yourself. Now, I'm pretty sure this won't consume my all stack because I already, uh, or no, because I was only targeting one person. A game? Wow. I'm just getting all the freaking limit breaks. Well, I mean, at, oh wait, that only did 70 damage. I guess he must have gotten a crit the first time or something? I don't know. I mean, I really should be attacking him, to be honest. Uh, oh, Cloud has his limit break now. You cure Barret, please. Wait, turret not on? Oh, I think I killed it. Yep, yep, I killed it. Hide it in hole. it exploded. Join me next time when you fight- no, I'm not gonna do that to you. Although it is tempting. But it's also a bit of work to actually get back here, so, you know. Ah, uh, No, I'm good. You see, I would have been fine if, if that reactor hadn't exploded, so, but some asshole said- oh, oh, right. And then he died. Join me next time when we find out the exciting conclusion. Until then, this has been Let's Play Final Fantasy VII with Chaos Blue, and have a good day. Bye! <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha